This is our tiny home, taking you to the front. Plenty of windows. This is the instant hot water container, plugged in with some heat tape for the winter. The propane tanks, you got two propane tanks. I think they're seven gallons each with a splitter valve in the middle. Very efficient on propane. Got the hitch. That's the bathroom window. Steel roof, tilted to one side. That's the stove vent. Another set of windows. Dual axle. That's the gray water that I have separated for drainage purposes. This is the power plug and then this is an external for generator, external generator. Comes with one 100 foot heated hose. Another electric outlet on the front door, porch light window. I'm gonna take you inside. To the inside as you walk in, that's a space, the electric stove we have. Dual pane windows. Dual pane windows with cranks and locks. Upper bedroom or storage with separate lights. You need a ladder to get up on this one. We thought about putting in a ladder and hanging it with a rope to one side if you want to. Our thermostatic heater has a radiant heater above that window. Very well insulated. Little cabinet here. Tons of electric outlets, stove, oven, cabinets above the stove, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, and the other side, sink, faucet, washer, dryer combo. And then this is the ladder to the other bedroom. Taller on one side than the other, so we put our feet on the short end. It has like 13 electric outlets. There's electric outlets everywhere. Ceiling fan. You can see the electric outlets wherever you want to plug something in. Plenty of electricity everywhere. And the bathroom sink toilet plugs storage the towels and a full-size shower it's a nice thing about the shower it's not a tiny rv shower full-size shower so leaving the bathroom gives you an idea how it's laid out. There was sofa bed out here, plenty, plenty of room. Beautiful tongue and groove wood. Really nicely done. And that's our tiny home. We got a fan for the bathroom in there as well. And that's it.